baseball this afternoon on the MLB pregame show and as we draw close to first pitch let's jump into today's tops player spotlight. Jay Mack has people around the game buzzing. He took home the AL Cy Young Award last year and we can see him there receiving the award from his manager just a few moments ago. Well the secret's out on this guy Hero. He is not only lights out. This guy can get it done. Pitches deep in the games. He can eat up innings and more importantly his stuff is elite. I agree Dan. He shut down the league all season long. I'm interested to see if he built on last year's Cy Young award winning season and gets off to another hot start. OK we're looking forward to this one. Lineups and first pitch on the show coming up next. Outdoor baseball now from the warehouse district and Target Field here in downtown Minneapolis. Today it's the finale of this four game set between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Minnesota Twins. Alongside Dan Plesak and Mark DeRosa and Danny as pitching matchups go it doesn't get much better than what we've got here for this one. Well Matt these are two of the best in the business two guys that throw a lot of strikes and if their game is on we should have a very low scoring ball game with these two elite starting pitchers. It's time for Twins baseball next. Jay Mack is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for Minnesota. Dan any thoughts. Hey Matty V we're awfully lucky in this we're getting a chance to see one of the top pitchers in the AL this year as a matter of fact this guy has a legit shot to win the Cy Young Award. He doesn't walk a lot of guys and one of the other things he does he pitches deep into games. So stepping in is Craig Evans and we are ready for some daytime for the baseball. The right fielder number 10. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And that's by him. It's 0 1. Down. Fellas, these twins as they take the field this afternoon. They were losers last time out, but still in a decent groove as they'd won four or five prior to that. Hey, thanks, first Matty. Pitch. You know what, D Road? Nothing you'd like more than to win this one here. They've got a long roadie coming up. And they'd like to win this one to get themselves on an airplane onto a long road yeah, trip right, on a positive out. note. And you know this, Dan, as well as I do. Ten game road trip, a lot of packing involved the night before this one. They're going to have to find a way to stay focused. Win this ball game and get on a happy flight. And he'll indeed make the play in foul territory for the first out. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels' starting lineup. What's the word on them as they try to split the series, Mark? Yeah, Matty, every person that bought a ticket tonight came to see one thing, and that's the guy on the mound. But I'll tell you what, from an offensive standpoint, this is what you live for. Who's going to make the adjustments offensively to put quality at bats second. against this guy? Do they have to get him early? Brandon. Can someone work themselves into Mark. a big count to drive a ball in the gap late? I am so fired up to see this offense take on this monster. Here's the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. There's a chopper fouled off to the left as the count moves to 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Baseball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Well we're all hearing his name in the Cy Young Award discussions at this point in the season. It's pretty hard to argue against it when you watch him dominate a guy on three pitches and send him packing without much problem. Batting third. The center hey, field. To the plate now. Pete Crow Armstrong. Armstrong. As the first pitch to him is in there for a cold strike one. That average at 291 to start the day. 25 homers and 71 runs batted in. And he falls behind 0 2. 
on, guys. Come on. Fouled off. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. Over to first, and that retires the side. Nothing doing here in the opening half inning. The Twins coming up. No score. New inning set to get underway. Leading off here the comes eight. the first baseman, the Pete first Alonso. Baseman, number 21. Pete Alonso. The pitch. Fastball, oh, and it gets one. by him a swinging strike. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. Wind up and the 0 2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. This is what a power pitcher will do to you if he executes his pitches. That was a three pitch strikeout, and with the kind of stuff that he has, it's not uncommon for him to absolutely dominate certain guys. Brian Packer. Brian. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball yep, one, one. One and oh. 261, the average coming into action here. 13 home runs, and he's driven in 45. A 2 and 0 count to the Angels' left fielder. Mack is what you may call a stingy starting pitcher. He rarely gets hit around, and on top of that, he usually excels at limiting free passes. A great combination to have. Matty V, I think one of the keys to being a good starting pitcher one, limiting the number of pitches that you throw into a game, and two, getting out as Count quickly as you one. can. And there aren't too many guys that do it better than this guy. Not a lot of pitches. One of the things I like, he's in attack mode from the first pitch of every at bat. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball, and the hitter just fouls that one off. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit weakly on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly. And an off balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. And now to the plate, Kyron Ferris. He'll work on That's keeping it. this top of the second, the second line. Baseman. Kyron Ferris. First pitch on its way. Aye. Hey, when you're featuring a mid 90s fastball like this pitcher, Attack with that pitch. Get ahead. Get the offense on their toes. That opens up the off-speed pitches later in the game. Wave that and missed, okay. and he's okay. behind 0-2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. And oh, no count. call on the screwball there, so the count moves to 1-2 now. Let's go, boys. Let's go. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Hey, two 
out, see you, two out. And it's fouled away. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled away. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. And he fouls this one off. He'll try again, one, two. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Angels are gone in order. We go to the bottom of the second, no score. Spark the offense and even Tyler. things up. Freeman. First pitch on its way. At A the ball, ball and no strikes. Here we go, boys. Here we go, one here. The 1 0. A swing and a miss, strike one. I got one ball. One I love strike. everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got one fastball ball, command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. And up next, it'll be Cable Ruiz. And the, the home catcher. away splits Cable. tell us he's actually quite a bit Ruiz. better hitting on the road than he is at home. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. This pitch is popped up. Shenton in foul ground. And that's the second out of the inning. Digging in will be Luis Avila. And as you check out his righty-lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right-handers. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 1. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Oh, and he's finding his groove oh out there now. It's 0 2. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Got him swinging, and that's the third out. Angels go down one, two, three. They still trail one nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Craig Evans, and they could use like a spark you. from him here. Craig. Ready Evan. with the first pitch. Here it comes. Hey. Well, that's just a nice executed pitch right there. To have the confidence to go in, pound it inside. If he's got that, this team's in trouble. And it's quickly 0-2. And Fastball call, strike three, and there's the first down of the inning. You hear that phrase, climb the ladder all the time? And that's pretty much what he did right there. When you change the hitter's eye level with each pitch in that at bat, it becomes very hard for him to adjust and put the bat on the ball. He made that strikeout look real easy. Now bat. Stepping in now, Brandon Marsh. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. 0 for 1 for him here in this one.
broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Oh, that'll make you smile as a pitcher. You make a good pitch, you, you blow the guy's bat up, and then you make the play yourself. In your head, you're thinking, nice swing, meat. He'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. A late swing on the slider, and quickly it's 0 and 2. Man, if I'm on the mound right now, these guys are swinging at everything. You just want to try and paint the corners. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0 2. Nope. Back-to-back -back sliders one, in on two. the hands. He didn't handle it real well at all in the previous pitch, so why not come right back with it again? Better job of laying off that one, though. No runs, no hits, and no errors to this point for the let's Angels. Go now, let's go, let's go. Fouled off. And another foul ball. You can really tell they're trying to keep the ball in on this big slugger right here. Is that an effort to keep him from getting extended, do you think? Yeah, I think that's the idea, Matt. But he might spin the win if he starts looking for it in there. Here he comes again, 1-2. That's ball two. This is exactly the reason why this guy has been so successful and has played this game so long, scrambling pitch after pitch, making this guy work out on the mound. Angel still looking for hit number one in the ballgame. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Angels are gone in order. They trail this one one to nothing. All set for the start of the inning Leading and set the to game. go is the veteran first, first baseman, baseman Pete Alonso. This is where the pressure Pete. starts to build a little oh, bit on an there. offense. It's not late enough. I mean, you don't have to start panicking right now, but this is where you're looking for someone to light a spark to get back in this game. Hey. And that's on the outside corner for a strike. Hey, come on now. Here we go. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. There's strike two as it catches the outside corner. And a swing and a miss there on a late breaking slider as he set down on strikes for the second time this afternoon. So another exceptional effort for him on the mound. He's got the shutout working here as we'll show you the league ERA leaders. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Ready now for L.A. Brian Packer. He's 0 for 1 Brian. after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a strike called at the knees. Nothing in one. You have to understand as the hitter right here, pitcher on the mound wants a quick inning. Anything over the heart of the plate, probably got to pull the trigger on. Bases are empty. One man out. Called strike 0 and 2. Packard can be considered a bit of a one dimensional hitter, I guess, in terms of making contact. He tends to see the ball out of right handed pitchers' hands well, but doesn't seem to pick up the left handers at the same level. The next 0 2 is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. That's back-to-back punch-outs, and he's really starting to rack them up now, guys. I've got eight strikeouts in my scorebook for him now, so he's got good stuff. So now to the plate, the Kyron Paris. The second baseman. Hey. She'll take a look Byron. at the slider here that finds the zone the for strike one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Plays it first. 
Just a bit late, and he's fallen behind 0-2. Hey, offense needs to check itself right here. They need to make this starter a little bit more uncomfortable. One strike away from five shutout innings. That misses, says the home plate umpire. One and two. Where it misses, I'm not quite sure. Two out, nobody on. And that misses two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Here's another 2-2. Two -two. And he's got himself another one. He picks up strikeout number nine here, and the side is retired. 15 straight, he's retired to start the ball game. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Twins three, and the Angels nothing. Stepping up is Tyler Freeman. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Freeman. He's ready. Here's the first pitch. Yeah. Offensive game plan needs to change right here. They need to get a little bit more aggressive. It's too late to try and work counts. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. In there for extra bases, and there goes the perfect game. And he will post in the second with a leadoff double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Now that catcher. Cable. And the plate now. Cable Ruiz. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. Much too tardy on one the fastball. One. one and one. No one out with a runner at second. Go out. No two. offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Two one. Swing and a miss. Strike two. Two, two strike. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And it's fouled away. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. That's lifted the other way out to left. Denton comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first down. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. So now into the box is Luis Avilas looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, and he didn't put up much of a fight either, Maddie. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Now the 0-1. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. One out and a runner on second base. Fouled away. The 0 2 once more. It's a wave and a miss. He struck him out. That's 10 strikeouts for him now, and I'll tell you, he could rack up quite a few more before he's done. Still a lot of game left in this one. The white field of number 10. Craig Evans. At the plate, Craig Evans, Aye. as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far.
Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control 0 and 2. Hey, one strike away from six shutout innings against this lineup. We have a gem on our hands, and the bullpen will be well rested. And he fouls this one off. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Back-to-back -back strikeouts keep him out of danger. Back with more of this Thursday afternoon business person special following this. Seventh inning ready to roll. Go, and striding forward, the, the designated player. hitter, Brandon, Brandon Marsh. Marsh. First delivery to him. Hit out towards second. He's got it. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So he's still got his shutout working here in the seventh. And with that in mind, we check out the league leaders in shutouts. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Now in the box, Pete Crow Armstrong now that, sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, kind of shocked Crow he got Armstrong. blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. So here's Pete Alonzo. He struck out swinging now in his last trip the to the plate. Pete Alonzo. Now here's the first offering. Good slider there, and he gets one. ahead of him, nothing in one. Yeah, I'm not sure what the game plan is today. Too many early swings. They got to be a little bit more patient at the plate. Two down now. A swinging oh, two, strike, and now it's 0-2. So far, this has been a terrific outing for this guy. Throwing well, keeping his pitches to a minimum, locating his fastball to both sides of the plate. Good command of the off-speed. And we'll just leave it there as they make a play to end the Please inning. Add another zero as it's up to seven stretch. shutout innings so far. Seventh inning stretch upcoming here in the Twin Cities. Twins are out in front, three to nothing. Now to the plate, here is Ryan Packer. He went down on strikes last time up. Ryan Packer. Swung on and missed for the first strike. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Nope. Not Whoa. the greatest of game plans, though. One and one to count now. Hey, come on, guys. Now the pitch. Had nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Uh, and he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. So you've got to figure he's got a good chance here to finish this one off. And with that in mind, we take a look at the league leaders in complete games. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. Now it'll be Kyron Paris, 0 for the 2 battle. here to start the, the afternoon. First Kyren. pitch on its way. Ah. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Continues to mow down these hitters. 13 strikeouts now. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. 
Next to dig in, Tyler Freeman. Two away here in the eighth, the and back. time's That's running right. out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of Tyler. outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hey, now, we got two. We got two. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. He'll whip this one first in time, and that ends the inning. Angels go down one, two, three. They trail in this one, three nothing. And stepping in, Cable Ruiz over two on the afternoon so far. Cable Ruiz. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a oh, swinging one. strike here. Nothing in one. In today's game, with velocity and exploding breaking stuff, you have to find a way to control the strike zone as a unit. They haven't been able to do that today, swinging at way too many pitches outside the zone. Swing and a no miss ball. on the slider. He's quickly behind. Nothing in two. You know, when a guy starts to get tired, you often see their breaking stuff start to flatten out, but that's not the case here. Still has really nice finish on that slider, as we just saw. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hey. Struck him out and make it 14 punch outs now in the game. Matt, just about everything he's doing is working. All of his pitches, great command, great location, and the big key, with two strikes, he's attacking the zone. Into the box, Luis Avila. The third baseman. As he will take a look at strike Avilas one on a fastball right down the pipe. He's 0 for 2 in the ball game so far. Here we go. A one pitch on its way. Grounded softly to the right. And they will no, get no. He's in there. A very close play at first. Into the box now, like Craig Evans Red. has the first pitch to him. Swung on and missed for strike one. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ball There's one. a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. This is a tough guy to turn two on. It's got to be hit hard. If you're an infielder, you've got to catch it and get rid of it quickly. Set. Here comes the 1 1. Now a double play ball here as this is on the ground to third. To second for one. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Brandon Marsh. He comes to the plate as a last chance for his side. Two out here in the ninth. With that base running threat on first base, man, does that change the pitcher's whole mentality. This guy at the plate should assume nothing but heaters coming right at him. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 2 now. A crowd in excess of 37,000 come to their feet. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Yeah, they could only manage two hits against him the entire game, so they were never really in a position to even challenge him. Rock solid win and a memorable performance. 3 0 the final score in this one today. Minnesota took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Jay Mack earns his 25th.